What's going on guys? Me and the wife just got a new toy. We'd like to tell you a little bit about it. I grew up all my life in the Boy Scouts, so I camped a lot. One summer I went all the way to Yellowstone with my grandparents in their big class uh, CRV. Um, wanted to try to get my wife um, interested in being, on, being in the outdoors. So we got a tent and tried to go camping. She didn't, did not enjoy that too much. So we decided that we like to try to do something with an RV, travel trailer, or something like that. Problem is, I got this 2012 FJ Cruiser. And whatever I had, I wanted that to be able to pull it. So that kind of limited uh, us on what we, what we could actually do. So we found something that was very interesting that this is able to pull. So stay tuned and we'll give you a tour of what we have. Okay, here's what we have. We have a 2017 Winnebago Mini Drop 170S. What's great about this travel trailer is it has a dry weight of only 2,800 pounds. My FJ Cruiser will not have a problem pulling this because it has a max towing rating of 4,700 pounds. So this is a great trailer for anybody that has a small SUV. We got a nice pretty blue exterior on this camper. On this side we have two exterior uh, compartments to store whatever you might like. The back one isn't the biggest in the world, but this is what I do with mine. I put a little two drawer storage uh, container in here and I can keep all my odds and ends. I have my hose and some tools and anything that I might need. It's got a full size awning on it, which is great. It covers, covers almost the full length of this side of the travel trailer. It has a exterior speakers for you're out here want to listen to some music or anything like that it does have exterior plugs this isn't a pass-through storage but it does offer a great deal of space it has a LED light so if you're out here at night you got to get something you can flick flick that thing on you can see whatever you need to back here in the back it does have a cutout to get to your hot water heater so when you're winterizing this camper you can get up under here and Get to those bypass valves it does have four stabilizing jacks on each point of the trailer they are very easy to let down doesn't take much effort to get them down in place this isn't a leveling jacks these are just to stabilize the trailer to keep it from rocking back and forth when you're in it the front of the rv first thing you notice is the big winnebago logo on it Another great thing about this travel trailer is I do not need any exterior towing mirrors for my vehicle. It is the same width as my vehicle, so I have no problem whatsoever seeing around it when I am pulling it. Up front we have a manual jack. That probably will be replaced with an electric jack, uh, an electric jack sometime down the road. It has a regular sized propane tank and just one battery. If you look up under the bottom, it has a little storage place to put uh, your sewage drain. It's not the biggest in the world, but I had no problem getting, I think it was a four foot hose in there. As you come to this side, you'll see what makes this trailer special. For this size trailer, you don't normally get a slide out. But with Winnebago, they were able to put one in here and it makes the world of difference when you go on the inside. So you got your hot water heater. Um, what me and my wife has experienced with it so far, it does make the water extremely hot so it does not have a problem getting hot and staying hot. Um, we haven't taken extended long showers but for what we've had to use it for, we've not had any issues out of it. You have the uh, hookup where you can put your fresh water in where it goes down into your fresh water tank if I believe correctly I think it's a 30 gallon fresh water tank um, here's the access panels for the fridge and it can be ran off of the propane or electric this does even have an outdoor shower so if you're at the beach or anything like that you got sand on your feet and come around here 
wash them off so you keep the inside of your travel trailer looking nice. On this trailer, I don't know if you noticed or not, it does have some really nice looking rims on it. Just wanted to point that out. Back here we got all the rest of our hookups. We have our 30 amp power hookup which is actually a removable power cord. When I'm not using it or I am traveling, I just roll it up and I put it in my shower. Next to it is the city hookup water. Right below it is where you can hook up the park cable. And that last one right there on the bottom right is a very handy thing to have. It is a black tank flush. So instead of having to go inside, fill up buckets of water and flush it down your toilet to try to clean up any of that nasty mess that's hanging around, you can hook your hose up to that and it turns on some sprayers that are in your black tank and it spins around and gets all that nasty stuff broken up and loose so it can be flushed out right down here you got your gray valve and you got your black valve the only bad thing I see on this trailer is the clearance from the ground that this has you gotta be very careful when you're going over speed bumps or anything like that because this is the lowest point on the trailer um, I've not had a problem with it yet but it is something to be aware of when you're pulling this trailer that this is your lowest point so just take it nice and easy over any bumps. The back side of the camper there isn't much to see about it. It has got the Winnebago Winnie Drop logo on it and it's got a little place for your tag so that about covers the outside of the RV. Um, so stay tuned and we'll take a look at the inside. Alright, here's what it looks like as you open the door to the Winnie Drop 170S. As you can see it's got a very nice faux wood floor in it. And what's great about the 170S, it has a full size bathroom in it, which we'll show you that in a second. As you come in you have the kitchen to the left. Yes, you have a full size queen bed in the back. And you have a nice little dinette here to the right. Um, me and my wife on the dinette, we uh, throwing some ideas around where we pull this table out, cut a piece of plywood, make some cushioning for it, and kind of make this into a little bit of a couch. Um, don't know when we might do that, but when and if we ever do, we'll be sure to show you how that turns out. Up top here, we got a little entertainment center. Um, this connects to the outdoor speakers outside, and it's got AM, FM. It's got Bluetooth built in, so you can connect your phone to it, and it can play DVDs and CDs. Up top, we got some storage area for some plates and anything that you might want. We've, like I said, we've not, we've only been on one quick trip with this, so we haven't quite decided on how or what we are going to put in all these cabinets but we just got some essentials in there so we still have plenty of, of room to fill this with stuff it even has a little shelf in the back right now we just got some uh, blankets on it because when we went it was a little bit chilly but the heater in this thing works great it's a uh, one great thing about having a camper that's only 19 feet long is that doesn't take much to heat it up. Like I said, it's got a full-size queen bed. You can lift up over here on the left side and you can access your hot water heater again on this side, but I found out it is easier to just climb up under the little storage compartment up under there and access those bypasses. But I'm not the biggest guy in the world, so I didn't have a problem getting up under there. What's great about this camper, it actually comes with a confection microwave oven because as you see, there is no stove in here. So to use that as storage space, they elected to not put a stove in here, but they did put a confection oven in here. So you do have the functionality of an oven with the microwave. Like I said, it's got the two-way fridge so it can be ran off of the propane or gas and it does have an auto feature that detects which one you are plugged up to I think this is a four cubic foot fridge um, we found that there is plenty of room in here to put anything that you might need 
It does have a little storage area to put any kind of frozen items that you might need. Um, if you put ice trays, uh, two ice trays in there, that's about all you get in there. So not the biggest room for freezer stuff, but it does have a decent amount of room for any cold items that you might need to put in there. We got a two burner stove top. Um, we had these on. It does get pretty warm in here with these on, but there is ample uh, ventilation with all the windows. Um, coffee maker didn't come with the camper. That's just what we put in there. It's got this uh, sink with a nice little cover or cutting board, however you want to use it. It's got uh, one thing I found out about this camper is the power situation on the inside. We got a plug here. We got a plug down there and we got a plug over here behind the TV and that's about all we have in the living space. Now, nowadays with the technology that we bring along with us, there's not very many plugs as you can see. To get the coffee maker plugged up, I had to run a extension cord. Ain't really a problem, but that's just something to be aware of when you're looking at buying this uh, travel trailer. Up top here, more storage. This is where we got some of our plates and some of our cups. Yes, we are Auburn fans, War Eagle. Below here is where we got our pots and pans. And I attached a little place to hold paper towels. And we bought a little clip to go on the cabinet to hold some towels. It does have full sliding out drawers. So ample room to put any kind of utensils that you might need. I didn't mention up under the seats there is also storage up under there and this table does let down and you can have a bed right here. The camper does come with a 15 inch, 15 inch Jensen TV. Um, it's not the biggest in the world, but again, with a 19-foot camper, you don't need that big. I think you might get a little bit bigger there, bigger TV there. We haven't looked into that yet, but that is an option. You have your handle up there to rotate your digital antenna around, because this does come with a very nice low-profile digital antenna that picks up really good service for any of those digital channels that you might be wanting to try to get. Over here, we got our thermostat for our heat. We got our controls for our battery, our fresh, our black, and our gray. Where you can turn your water pump on if you're wanting to use your fresh water tank. And you can run your hot water heater off LP gas or electric. But of course, if you run it off of LP gas, it's going to uh, heat up a little bit faster. And if you're not in a rush, you can heat up with electric, which I've been using. It takes about 15 minutes to heat up the water. Here you got your power on and off to turn your slide uh, turn your power to your slide on. It takes about 10 seconds to go in and out, but not had a problem with that. Up here we got some uh, vents. Uh, we have a, a vent for the bathroom, so you can open the vent and then turn the fan on. Kind of strange that they put this out here because if you're in the bathroom, uh, it's kind of hard to access these, so you just have to do it before you go in. Over here, you actually got your pantry. It's got a pretty good a bit of room, a pretty good bit of room for storage. Again, we don't keep food in here when we're not in here. It just keeps any kind of pests and uh, <laughs> keep away any uh, issues that that might cause. Down below is your access panel for all your breakers and fuses. So now, like I said, the biggest selling point for this uh, travel trailer for the 170S is the full-size bathroom. So let's take a look at that. Give me a second. I forgot to turn the light on. All right, as you open the door, you can see it has its it has a full size toilet. It has a full size shower, and like I said, we have it winterized right now, so it's actually hanging down, making sure any kind of liquid in in there will drain out. There's that fan I was telling you about. Um, you can open it up and then uh, suck out all the hot moisture that happens when you're taking a shower over here we got our little sink as you can see it's got plenty of room to put any of your stuff up there 
has a nice little mirror right there does have a plug right there and up under here you can put your towels and anything like that you also got your uh, two low, low point drains up under there and you do have this uh, pedal style toilet one pedal uh, half makes water come into it full flush actually flushes everything down Instead of mounting the toilet paper holder to the wall and damaging the wall, we just bought this little uh, toilet paper holder at Walmart. Back here, you got a pretty good sized little closet. Up top here, my wife did these two little caddies, one for me, one for her to put our white clothes in and stuff like that. Up under here, you got your little hooks for anything that you'd like to hang. And we put a little dirty clothes uh, basket in here, so the clothes will hang kind of in them a little bit. But you can still put all your dirty clothes in there instead of having them strewn all over the place. It makes it very handy. So here's a shot from the bathroom. Like I said, for a 19 foot camper, you got a really good, decent amount of living space in here. So we're taking it out again in about a week. Um, we're looking forward to it. And I didn't tell you about the air conditioner. I about forgot about that. It actually has a low profile domestic uh, air conditioner unit. You can turn just the fan on and or turn the AC on so it kicks the compressor on. It is loud when you have the compressor on running for the AC. I mean, if you're used to the travel trailers and all that kind of stuff, you realize that these aren't the quietest in the world doesn't have a thermostat to control this it is controlled by a switch just determining how cold you want it sorry about that I don't know why my camera shut off but like I was saying it isn't the quietest, quietest uh, air conditioner in the world but it does cool this area very effectively so you don't have to worry about being hot when you come back to your camper so yeah this is the inside of the uh, Winnebago Winnie, uh, Winnie Drop 170S if you're wondering, this is how the trailer sits when the slide is completely in. And what's great about this, if you're traveling on a long trip, um, you still want to get out, stop somewhere, get some lunch. You have ample room to get over here to the fridge to get your food. You still can fully use your table. And it does not affect your bed at all. So, slides in, still ample room. Um, that's a great feature of this trailer. Um, I know with my uh, parents' big travel trailer, when the slides in, they cannot access anything that is in their fridge, which uh, is a problem if you have drinks in there. Instead of stopping at gas station, buying drinks, you can just open up the camper, grab one that's already cold and ready to go. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tour of our Winnebago Mini Drop 170S. I know I'm excited. I know my wife is excited, which you'll get to meet her at a later time. We're very excited to take this out on our trip next week where I'm going to show you how to hook this up to my FJ Cruiser or any other small SUV. The current system they have on this is very simple to use, very easy to hook up and when I'm pulling up behind my FJ Cruiser it's hard to tell that it's even behind there. So if you'd like to see that make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also please share and like this video so we can let people know what we're doing. Um, our channel is called Little Town Big Dreams and the purpose of that channel is to show that just because you live in a little town, just because you work all the time, doesn't mean you can't get out there, have fun, and make memories. So if you'd like to see any of that, like I said, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.